I've been in the pet cremation business since 2004 and one thing that I do a lot of is grind bones. I've used processors and cremulators that are out there in the market and I was always on the hunt for something that was lightweight, easy to use and didn't break the bank. Today I'd love to introduce you to the Tilt Grind. Tilt Grind also has additional features which I really like. One of them is the magnetic proximity switch. Now this um, prevents the grinder from starting if the cover's not on. Uh, there's also a built-in circuit breaker, which is awesome. There's a guarded power switch here, so you don't turn it on by mistake. And there's a, a, a cord caddy, which keeps everything nice and stowed when you're not using the unit. And of course, the tilt grind has a tilt grind mechanism. And I'll show you that and how it works in a few moments. So, the cord is 12 feet long, and that's to ensure that you can put your grinder just about anywhere that you'd like and not have to worry about having enough cord. It plugs into really any outlet. One thing I forgot to mention is that every tilt grind comes with a bent brush. This makes it so much easier to retrieve all of the bones once you're done with the grinding. So let me show you how this works. These are the bones that are equivalent to approximately a 40 pound um, animal. And so we put our proximity switch right here, which keeps the cover on. Now, as I mentioned to you before about the tilt grind, we have a tilt grind mechanism, which is right here, the tilt lock. And as the name implies, you need to tilt to grind. So on this model here, it would be going into hole number four. And on some of the newer units, it says start. So you just want to be able to put it in the fourth hole right here before you start it so that it does grind. What you'll see me do after we start is basically unlock it. And I'll be doing this. Even though the tilt grind will grind the bones under 20 seconds, by doing this, you're accelerating it. So you potentially could get your grinds done under 10 seconds, depending on how many bones are in here. So you can either start it here if you wanted to just leave it and not touch it again. Since I know I'm going to be doing it again, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to start it. It's going to get noisy a little bit. So. what it's done and it took less than 20 seconds for sure. The, um, the tilt grind also allows um, the customization for the um, vacuum so that if you wanted we can have it so the vacuum is already attached to it and you don't have to worry about the dust or you do it like I'm doing it now um, which is just as simple it doesn't really matter. Just before I lift up the cover, I'll just vacuum it out. So we've taken care of the dust. And I'll show you how easy it is to actually take all of the cremated remains out of there super easy and because it grinds into such a fine dust um, if you have a family that wants you to do a uh, blown glass memorial for them uh, the glass blowers really love this um, texture because it's just like a powder so it makes it so much easier to work with and we get it all out Look at that. All done. Thanks for watching.